This is Krispy Kreme coming at you. I'm going to show you how the flick works for me. Uh, I use a Galaxy S10 phone. It's a little bit bigger than the average iPhone, but not quite as big as the Note or some of these other bigger phones. So the size of your screen makes a big difference. If you play with the tablet, I'm not sure how the flick worked for you, but being that you play off a cell phone, you've got a very short distance to clear the screen. So whenever you start to flick, I'll show you in just a moment, but without actually making a bad shot here, kind of hold it in the blue. And always play a curl, because if you try to go straight, you're inevitably going to tilt it one way or the other and completely mess up your line. So I generally go and just pull the curl and then flick uh, either way that I need to go. So I'll show you a couple of techniques right quick, and we'll get started. Okay, this hole works very well for me, especially a little bit of headwind. I already got my shot lined up. I'm going to do a right to left curl. So here we go. A little bit late on that one, but it should be all right for me. On the next hole is the par 5. I'm going to try the opposite curl. But the main thing is just to really focus at the gauge, and you can do very well. Here we are on the par 5. I'm going to do the left to right curl. One thing I always try to remember is first of all hold in the blue. Second of all as quick a release as you can going into straight down. If you just think of flicking and you don't think of how, you, how you're going to flick, if you pull it too far in or too far out, you're going to actually drag the border of your screen and actually lag the shot. So I usually don't press on it too hard. Kind of give a little bit of a lighter hold that way it comes off a little bit easier. So here we go. Perfect shot. It just takes a lot of practice and getting used to. I don't recommend trying it playing until you're comfortable after playing a few special stages or your career. Now I'm going to try it on my three wood. One thing about trying it with the wood, especially if your gauge is a lot slower, you can really almost wait till it's on top of the center of the gauge before you flick. I generally give it like a half a split second right before it hits that, and then flick it as fast as I can. And for me, doing the left to right, like this, this index finger would generally jump, so that's a good reflex to have actually. Looks kind of wild, especially if you're playing with other people around. Looks like you're so intense, but just um, letting your natural reflexes happen. So here we go. Another perfect shot. And this is also very helpful when you're playing special stage and trying to build them cats from 3-star to 4-star and then 4-star to 5-star. Uh, when you're in a situation where those short clubs aren't getting there, go ahead and flick it. But that's what I have for you guys. Uh, you can comment or hit me in Discord and I'll help you with any questions you have.